Welcome back to another great episode of the Homegrown Hunter TV. Today I'm going to be heading down to Essex County to do some hunting with good friends Mike Jenner, John Jones, and Tristan Snip. We're going to be putting on lots of miles, pushing fence lines, and checking out thick cover where we know there's rabbits and there has been in the past. Now the weather does get a little nasty, but because of the snowfall that we got the night before, it's going to be easy to see where these rabbits are. We're going to have Darius the Spaniel out today. He's going to be putting on lots of miles himself. It's going to be a fantastic show, guys. I hope you enjoy. Oh, you look good with an over and under, you know. <laughs> now you're styling, buddy. Tweety, I, I don't know how many times I've done that today already. <laughs> like dove Tweety. Yeah, dove Tweety. Adventures in the outdoors are to be embraced. Pass down to our children to enjoy the bounty that Mother Nature has to offer in its organic form. As the seasons pass, the pursuit of our quarry changes, and we as hunters gather to celebrate the success of our hunt. Learning from our mistakes and teaching our children, we cannot always build their future, but we can build the youth for the future. That is what the homegrown hunter is all about. Welcome, as we share our experiences, our lessons, and our good eats. Homegrown Hunter TV is brought to you by Rackstacker, Canada's leader in big game attractants. Gambleford Chrysler, a small town dealer with a huge inventory. And Huckabones Equipment, Ottawa Valley's Kubota dealer. Altan Outdoor Solutions, Badlands Packs and Apparel, Bishop Lake Outdoors, Spy Point Trail Cameras, First Place Trailers, The Original Portable Winch, and these other fine partners. If you're not familiar with Essex County, it's located in southwestern Ontario, just east of Detroit. Most of the landscape is made up of egg fields with less than 5% understory and cover. This includes the fence lines. This allows the hunting spots for rabbits relatively condensed and concentrated populations to hunt. Yep, go where you're right at. Right here, right here. there. Zoom right in and take a headshot. I see his eye. Yeah. Oh, he's going. Oh, he just... there he goes. We got him. Look at these little holes and stuff. These are great. I wonder why he was diving in the net. What is he doing? He's to your left. Oh. There you go. First one of 2020. And second for the day. I missed two of them already this morning. I didn't miss this one. Mind you, he was bebopping in there. They were trying to find a spot to hide. Darius is doing a good job. Might be another one. He might be, he might be really smelling that last one, but he just went crazy there. Where is he? Where's that bunny? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah he got the. Yeah. Didn't you have Christmas trees in here? Mike? Yeah, this is Christmas trees in here. Yep. Yeah. Another tree right here. Another Christmas tree right there. Now using old Christmas trees can be a great cover for rabbits and work right away. Or planting spruce trees and over time in a long term benefit to increase your rabbit population to hunt in the future. You come up here in the spring maybe and help me put some more brush piles. Yeah. I want to thin all this hawthorn anyways. Make small patches. Yeah. It'll create more understory cover from food and then create some brush piles. So this little area is usually good for... Yeah. Rabbit just took off running. I just. Right here. No, he was right in front of us. I was just going to tell Steve this is usually a good spot to get one up, and one took off. He's right in here. You go back in? Yeah, he's right here. We think he stopped in here. So, yeah, Tristan, stay there. <clears throat> Even you stay there where you can shoot, Mike. You just let the dog roam in there. 
Oh, right here, right here, right here. You got him? Yep, someone did. <laughs> that was fat. Yeah, no, don't walk away yet, because we sometimes get a couple out of here. I was gonna say that was There's one right here, right here, right here. Coming to you, Mike. Spy point trail cameras. The official trail camera of the homegrown Hunter TV and the Rack Stacker Elite staff. Since Rackstacker's inception in 2007, we've been North America's leading big game mineral. With spring just around the corner, we're in full production with our customer favorites, Blaze, Glory, Stacked, and Heavyweight for whitetail deer, elk, and moose. With near instant results, you could be using Rackstacker to increase your game population on your property. And this is Rackstacker. <laughs> Visit rackstacker.ca for all product details and retail outlets across the continent. You prepare for it all year long with the intent to fill your tag. Strategy, setup, and long sits are all part of the game. And when Mother Nature settles in for the late season, it's important to be comfortable. Not even her elements can stop you from obtaining your end goal. Don't jeopardize that opportunity. Get yourself into an Alpan ground blind or tree stand. Alpan Outdoors, your first front in the hunt. I think I got him. No. <laughs> I got the first one. Oh, you shot this one? I shot that. Oh, good. We got one, and Tristan has one. That was pretty fast pace. We had uh, Darius got into this big brush pile, and this one was the first one out. And then he jumped back in, grabbed another one, circled it all the way around past Tristan. So we got two in that pile. That's number four for the day. I just see it's right there on the right side. Oh. I think Darius has it in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Is that did, one he, did he catch that one or did you shoot it? He caught it. He just put up three more. And now, this week's Cut to the Chase segment brought to you by Rackstack. I'm going to poke at Johnny here for a minute because the early part of the morning, we ended up crossing a bunch of rail ties that had a small spy hidden underneath. Perfect for rabbits. This is what Johnny had to say. It's, it's useless. Oh, is it? It's elevated on railroad ties and it's got a big hollow space underneath it. I've never, never once put a rabbit out of it. <laughs> what was that, Johnny? Never once put a rabbit out of it. <laughs> now, a little later on in the day, we ended up circling back around. We ended up wounding a rabbit, and Darius the dog ended up chasing him under the same rail pile. Just goes to show you, never underestimate where a rabbit will hide. Now it's also our responsibility as hunters to make sure we get that wounded animal. So I'm gonna tear the pile apart and get the rabbit we deserve. Mac, he thinks he's under there. I think he is under there. Get, get. Those tracks that were coming around here were not. Darius was going nuts when we came back around this spot. It's not like a dog to get that excited over something that wasn't around. The trouble is, the pile was frozen. Don't be alarmed, that's for me, not the dog. Hey. Get up, get him. Good yeah. boy. Get him out of there. You know what? So lucky he's loose. I'm gonna find that damn rabbit. It could be dead right there. Now you got a new one. Good boy. Hang on. Go get him out of there. Hmm. 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 There he is. Oh, there he is. He's right he there. sitting right there. Holy shit, he was right here. He was moving. He was moving. He's alive. He's 100% alive. We'll get you. Now film. Jeez, keep him 
must be hurt though to be sitting there. Yeah. He was right there. Cover off where you can go here. He's right there, Johnny. Get him, Barry, get him! Oh! He's a cut the dog's head. Here, hang on, dog. Come here. Maybe he's better without him, eh? What do you think? Get him out of the way, yeah. Here, Barry. So he was hurt. So he yeah. did hit him. Look at that leg. There it's root. Oh, yeah. Obviously hit behind the head. <laughs> yep, definitely hit him. So I was hitting behind him too, but we should found him. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Success in getting our rabbit. Thanks, Darius, for your help. Closed captioning has been brought to you by the original portable winch. Compact, lightweight, and can be carried anywhere. Located in Coyne, Ontario, Bishop Lake Outdoors is the largest browning gun and accessory dealer in the area. Bishop Lake Outdoors has a large selection of guns to choose from, including rifles, muzzle loaders, shotguns, and it's the area's only authorized Excalibur dealer. Celebrating 20 years in business serving the community, stop in and see the staff at Bishop Lake Outdoors. Centrally located between Toronto and Ottawa is Eastern Ontario's premier supplier of all-purpose cargo trailers. At first place, we sell specialty trailers such as car haulers, quad trailers, snowmobile trailers, or customize your own by coming to see us for all your accessory needs. We also specialize in the complete stealth lineup. Located just south of the 401 in Brighton, Ontario, visit firstplacetrailer.ca. That, that, that rabbit was not. There's going. another one. There's another in there. Come on. Yeah, no, I'm not. I can see it still. Darius is right at it. There's another in there. Oh, there he is. You're behind him. I didn't hit him. No. The second one either. Oh, no, he's right here. Bring it back. Bring it back. And you think there's another one? One. Bring it back. Put that pile back. So there we go. There's three guys pounding on that thing and it wouldn't let them go. And a dog on every single angle. Two and Darius one. Two, four, six, seven. That's pretty good. Well, you are bleeding, buddy. It's working hard. Take the break. No? The branches in these hawthorns were so sharp that they were causing a bunch of minor scratches on Darius. They didn't slow him down the slightest. He kept running all day. For an eight-year-old spaniel, this is great exercise. Yeah, like right here. I, I was literally on him and I was like, I could have shot him right here, but it's two yards. You see here? You see this little pocket right here in the grass? Just tuck right up under it. You'll never see them. Exactly. You go up and kick the brush, you'd be surprised on how many will walk right by. Yeah, exactly. On a day like this, yeah, they're gonna pull tight. came to an end. We were soaked and it was time to head back. For shooting at these fast little critters, you want to make sure that every favor is on your side. For the last couple of years, I've been shooting these Ultimate Fast Lead by Kent Cartridge. Shooting them at a 20 gauge, two and three quarter inch, seven and a half, working fantastic whether you're shooting short or long distance shots. Give them a try today. Now let's get back to the show. 
Now the next day we were going to go to another property and we're joined by Craig Minch. We need to use a tractor to get her out. I think you should tell the camera that we need a beagle and I'll get my wife to let me have one. We should have a beagle, Steve. Working on it. <laughs> <laughs> The lay of this land is completely different, with taller growing rows of trees, brush piles that the landowner had made, and planted strips of food plots. It's perfect rabbitry. Whoa, whoa. Got one right over the shoulder. I took a hail mary for that one. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Good job! That was awesome! Right over the shoulder. Get it? Yeah! Right here, there's two! It ran right to my right about a foot. Yeah. He barrel rolled it. Guy's got it. Oh, that's a different rabbit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He shot it at five yards. Oh, oh! The rows of planted spruce, mixed dogwood with food plots in between, made it for some really fun hunting. I gotta put my gun up for this one. Yeah. Take the tumble. Yeah. Sit. We should have brought another set of young legs, eh? <laughs> My young lad would love to do this. I was going to say. There we go. That dog was right there, yeah, man. I said I couldn't shoot. I had, I was on it. Over the years, I've grown to absolutely love rabbit hunting. It's fast paced action with friends, you can chat all day long, and don't have to worry about your scent control. A lot different than my traditional big game hunting. Oh, right here, right here, Craig. Huckabone's equipment in Cobden, Ontario, has received multiple excellence awards for service, quality, and selection. When it comes to Kubota equipment in the Ottawa Valley, Huckabone's is your go-to. You can rely on Kubota to get the job done year-round. From excavators, lawnmowers, to compact tractors, Huckabone's goes the distance to ensure customer satisfaction. Be sure to check out Huckabone's.com to see their full line of quality equipment. This is Outdoor Country, and this is Help Out Your Neighbour Country. Hi, I'm Tom Wallace from Campbellford Crasler, where we support homegrown Hunter TV. We believe in our local community. We're committed to our customers. We take our vehicles as seriously as you do your hunting. We're here to make you look good and get through that rough terrain. If we don't have the new or used vehicle you're looking for, we'll get it at the price that will keep you coming back. Come home to the small town dealership with 100% satisfaction guarantee. Campbellford Chrysler, Grand Road South. Proud supporter of Homegrown Hunter TV. Nice shot. Bingo. Great job, buddy. Yeah, that's a different one. That's yeah, authentic. no, I know. He jumped, I jumped him. Bang. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. Let's it up. Come on, sir. Good girl. Good girl. Big daddy. Craig. Craig. Right here, buddy. Right here. Right here. Come on, Craig. 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 Right here. Oh, you hit his 
his feet. I think I got him. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Thanks to John, he had brought his lab Storm out for the run today. She was doing a great job busting them all out of the cover. Yeah, he's got he's on the ground. Yeah. I see him moving here. The third one up crossed here. Let her go! Did you get it on film? Oh yeah, over the shoulder. As long as Craig hit it. <laughs> I think I hit it. No, he definitely hit it. Yeah, it Second like, shot. It's a long shot for seven and a half, dude. You got it? Oh yeah. Mike, you ready to walk again? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they're flushing way up ahead of us, John. 60 yards. That's, that's the third one that comes through here. Sorry, what was that, 70 yards? At least. Dude, like, let's face it off, just for to giggle. But that's like, if he's laying there, that's a long time. He, he's laying there. I seen him kick a couple times. There goes that one. <laughs> hit him. Hit him. How did that not kill him? Right there too. Same spot. I covered I covered it with pallet. Whoa. Whoa. This corner. Well what? Oh, it's dead right here. Oh, okay. Four. Which one? The first one, I bet. <laughs> I don't know if you hit the second. Well, you hit the second, but it was scattered so bad. Come here. Good girl. Come on. Storm. Come. Should be another one there, too. Yeah, boy. Good girl. Nice. That's two That's for two. Nice. Nice. 70 yards away, baby. Put it in your bag. <laughs> that is oh, a big rabbit, goodness. too. Something's going to come out of that brush pile. You watch. She ran up and stopped stone dead. Get out of there. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. That, that dog stopped stone dead, man. Like on the run, it went. It was way like on Craig's side too, so it wasn't close to me. It was on that side, like it could have been. Just, it was just. Look at these hawks, eh? You wonder. Yeah, look at what they're doing. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's got some extra food kicking around. He's sitting there. There it goes. There as soon as he gets through here, I think. Yep, yeah, there you go. Got him, got him buddy. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's still hopping. Hey, he's done. Dog will get him. Okay, load up. Storm! Okay, you got it? Yep. I'm gonna put the dog on. Storm! Yeah, that's it, yeah. Well, I'm telling you the last two days with Storm and with Darius, my good friends down here in Essex County, we had an absolute blast. If you haven't tried rabbit hunting, get out today. It's an absolute riot. Thanks for joining us on the Homegrown Hunter TV. I'm your host, Steve Elmer. Be sure to join us on other episodes of the Homegrown Hunter TV where I take you afield and show you different habitat projects including timber stand improvement as well as habitat restoration just like this brush pile. There's a lot of techniques involved with this. It's not just a brush pile. You got to stay tuned to the Homegrown Hunter and see what's underneath it that will improve your habitat. I'm your host Steve Elmy. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. For past episodes, be sure to check out hghtv.ca. Until next time.